Hi, this is Kevin. Today I'm going to be showing you how to deal with DC offset in Audacity. Now there is an article on the website showing you how to use the default tool for removing DC offset. Uh, I'll have a link to that in the description. But today what I want to do is to use a slightly different technique for removing DC offset. Right, so let's get started. What I've got here is an audio cassette tape recording, a digitized version of an audio cassette tape recording. It's basically, I've trimmed it down, so we've basically got the end of side one of the tape. This is this has been played on a cassette player that has auto reverse, so in the middle the tape reverses and we get start of side two. So this here is the audio on a side one of the tape. There is a silent bit after the audio and then in the middle of that silent bit that's when the auto reverse kicks in the tape reverses we get a little bit of we get a silent patch before the start of the audio on side 2 and then we've got side we've got the audio on side 2 this file actually looks quite fine it's not possible to see any dc offset in this recording so i guess really there's no point in making this video so um well, thanks for watching and see you next time. Well, actually, before I go, let me see what happens if I zoom in. And I'm just going to click there, and I've zoomed in, and you can see there's a little bit of DC offset there. Now, if I zoom out again, and it's right click to zoom out, I can actually go and change the view so that we can see what's going on a little bit easier. So I'm going to choose Waveform in the track menu. I'm going to choose Waveform DB. And now we can see exactly what's going on. You can see that there is a DC offset all along the length of side 1 of the cassette tape running in the negative direction. Then where the auto reverse kicks in, the DC offset starts again but running with the opposite polarity in the opposite direction. And that runs all along the length of side 2. Now we could try to use the DC offset removal tool to remove the DC offset along the entire file in one go. But if we were to do that it wouldn't work. I know that from experience. The reason it doesn't work, well I don't know, but it just doesn't work. There are all sorts of workarounds that you can use to allow you to use the, the DC offset removal tool, but um, I don't think it's possible to do it in one go. So what I want to do is to show you a, a technique you can use to remove all the DC offset, whichever direction it's running in, all in one go. So we go to the effect menu and choose high pass filter. Now the default settings can be kept for the roll off and the filter quality, but what we need to do is to change the frequency. And what we do is that we reduce that right down to 1 hertz. Now as you can see that's removed the DC offset entirely from both sides. Now I've undone the uh, effect and what I'm going to do is redo it but I'm going to zoom in first of all uh, so that we can see what's happening right in the center there a bit more clearly. Now I'm going to reapply the effect and for some reason Audacity changes the view back to the original view so let me change it to the waveform db view and we can see clearly what's happened here there is a bit of a kink in the waveform where the auto reverse kicks in now i just wanted to show you that so that you're aware of what happens when you use the high pass filter to uh, remove dc offset but it actually doesn't matter in this particular situation because that is the silent area and if i change the view back to the original view you can see that there is no audio content there and we can just go on ahead and delete that entire section and that's done so that's basically how to remove dc offset in a situation where you've got dc offset running in two different directions and uh, i hope you found that useful uh, if you did, please uh, rate the video, um, maybe subscribe for more videos, uh, and if you've got any questions, uh, do leave a question, any questions you've got in the comments section below. Uh, thank you for watching, take care, 
Bye.